Good afternoon and thank you for being with us for this time of daily prayer. It's Thursday the 4th of March. Our scripture today comes from the Gospel of John chapter 2 verses 13 to 22. The Passover of the Jews was near and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves, and the money changers seated at their tables. Making a, cord, a whip of cords, he drove all of them out of the temple, both the sheep and the cattle. He also poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. He told those who were selling the doves, Take these things out of here. Stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples remembered that it was written, Zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will rise it up. The Jews then said, This temple has been under construction for forty-six years, and will you rise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the temple of his body, and he was ra after he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Please post your joys, concerns, and prayer updates in the comment section below. You can also text, private message, email, or call me with those, and we will include them in the next daily prayer update on Monday. That's also when I do the audio version of this. Please include any joys or concerns you'd like to have shared with people who don't have access to the videos. For our joys today, uh, some of you have seen the photos that have been posted by Amanda of Dave Anderson, who has been going around the church painting and fixing up little things here and there. Um, he's worked tirelessly and he's brought a wonderful attitude to his work. It's great to see him here each day. Um, Levita Anderson wrote this about him. David, when we get back into preschool, Sunday school, and church full time, we will probably get lost. Everything will be so bright and beautiful. You are surely blessing for all of the you are surely blessed for all the work. Thank you so very much. And we all echo that sentiment. Today we're also offering uh, prayers of support for our fellow churches here in the Roanoke Valley and also support and appreciation for our staff here at Northview. Um, I don't have any particular concerns that have been brought to me in the last couple of days, so we lift up those that are on our prayer list as well as those that we carry with us in our hearts and minds. Our prayer today is based on John 2 verses 18 to 22. Christ our Lord, throughout our lives we have lost family members, friends, jobs, our youth, and good health. Living during a pandemic, we have been unable to do what we were accustomed to doing. Jesus' allies and adversaries lived through the destruction of the temple. The center of their religious life was taken from them. Then you stepped in to fill this great void. Yours was the perfect sacrifice for atonement of our sins. Like you, we will someday rise from the grave. In three days, you changed the rules of nature and reordered this world. Enter into our lives and remake us as well. Comfort us as we mourn what we have lost while embracing new life as your disciples. Hear us as we pray as you taught the first disciples, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Have a fine weekend.